We're really excited to perform for you. Before we get started, we have a handful of announcements uh, and some thank yous that we want to make sure that we do. Um, I want to thank all of our Team EA Region 30 leadership. Derek Doyle, who's the Director of Eds at Chisholm Trail High School, serves as our band chair. Uh, Hannah Stevens, band director at Fossil Hill, serves as our assistant band chair. Sarah Chance at Indian Springs Middle School is our treasurer, and Kevin Fallon at Boswell High School is our jazz chair. So thank you to those people. A big special thank you to the staff at Hillwood Middle School and Keller ISD, Jessica Moss and her staff. They hosted our phase one audition, so thank them. A thank you to Jason Jones and the entire staff of the bands here in Cleburne ISD. They hosted our phase two auditions as well as this weekend's clinic and concert. Um, hopefully when you entered, you saw that we have representatives from TMF. They're here with souvenir plaques and t-shirts, so I encourage you uh, to get some memorabilia for your, your uh, student performer here. Um, also when you came in, hopefully you picked up a program. Uh, if not, make sure you get one on the way out. Um, but we also want to do a special thank you to the Bandwagon Music Store out of Fort Worth. It provided repair services for our phase two auditions as well as the printing of today's program. So thank you to the Bandwagon. <laughs> all right. A big special thank you to all of you parents who have students that are seated on stage here. We appreciate, as a band director, I really appreciate all of the work that you do to make sure that your child is at their sectionals, at their band concerts, that they have their black so socks, their black shoes. I know I even have one parent with a student on stage that made sure he had black shoes today. So thank you so much to our parents. Very special thank you to you. If you are a band director or a private lesson teacher of a student seated on stage, if you would stand to be recognized. Band directors and private lesson teachers, thank you so much. seated on stage is our TMEA Region 30 um, Symphonic Winds, and uh, we have a few band directors that made sure that these students had everything they needed, so I want to uh, start with, we had a great percussion organizer, her name is Reagan Hall, so Reagan, if you'll come out, thank you, Reagan. And serving as our band organizers, the band staff at Kerr Middle School in Burleson, Catherine Klein and Brendan Ross. I think you're going to enjoy, hopefully you'll stick around for all of the concerts, but if you're only here for your child for the first band, that's fine too. You're going to really enjoy this performance. Um, this band has worked very hard. All of our students, they prepared uh, for several months to earn a position in, in one of the region bands, and then um, they have worked for four hours yesterday and about four hours this morning, so they've done a lot of rehearsing. Um, and uh, I think their efforts are going to pay off. I would like to welcome to the stage um, the clinician for this band. You can read about her in our concert program, but this is, if you'll help me welcome Miss Christine Cumberlidge to the stage. <laughs> and I'm going to present to her a plaque that reads, in appreciation for distinguished service as clinician of the All Region Band on behalf of the directors, parents, and students of Region 30, December 3rd, 2022, TMEA. Thank you, Miss Cumberlidge.
today, kind of take a breath and look around and go, this is pretty special. This right here is the biggest team they will ever be on. 
And if you can imagine any sport throwing 80 kids together and saying, hey, in eight hours, you're going to play a game, how it would go, probably be pretty tough. They came on here, and every one of them are a starter, and in eight hours, they've come together. And that's one of the things I love about band. These kids are, have all the things it takes to be successful adults. They know how to work with others. They're smart. They can fix things in an instant. And, and it's a tribute to you and, as parents and the great children you've raised, and it's a tribute to them. So I just wanted to kind of peek in here and tell you what an accomplishment that last piece was. And we're going to continue our concert with Minka Slayright. to see this crowd out in the audience supporting these kids. This cannot happen without you as parents. The quality of what you're hearing today cannot happen without incredible band directors. And I can tell you that band directors that produce this kind of kid are there early in the morning, they're there late at night, and it's all for the sake of helping create these amazing humans. And I have a daughter, she's in ninth grade, so she's just a little bit older than them, and she's involved in everything. And her and I have had to sit down and have some serious conversations about what she's going to be doing, because not because mom's a band director, but because I want her around these kind of kids. I'm encouraging her to do marching band. And I'm gonna tell you, if they're sitting on this stage, they're a leader in their band program. And this doesn't happen. To, have, to make this band is a huge honor. You've got some talented kids up here. And I'm gonna tell you, not because of any other reason, 
Well, there's many reasons, but the number one reason for them to try high school band is because it takes a lot of time, and what else do you want your teenagers doing? Band puts them around the best students in the school, the best academic students, and the best kind of kid. So with, uh, we talked a little bit on the stage about encouraging them to at least try it. When I was their age in eighth grade, I wanted to quit band and join the dance team. And my mother said, no, I've spent too much money on this. You're at least going to try it. And 25 years later, I could not be happier about my job and the opportunity I get to spend with the best kids in the school. They have done a tremendous job. I'm so proud of them. And they got to meet the composer of their next piece. Uh, Miss Chambers is here. And they, she came and heard them play it today and just bragged on them. You've got some great kids. If you'll give them one more huge round of applause. with Rhythmania. It's a little bit of rock and roll.